we go. Try it, you. I, I thought I thought All right. were kind of for. Tell me. Diamond City Radio? It's terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. But, Tim... It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. All right, that's enough. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. He seemed pretty serious to me. No, no, no. He, he was only kidding, right, Vadim? <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yet him and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects... He will fail at everything, and so he does. So, are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you, teams, that I have plan. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Had we haven't scared you off yet. Need a room? Did you know Earl Sterling? One of my brother's old friends. Oh boy. The way those two would go on about girls, you'd think Vadim is loud now. Earl was a horrible womanizer, and I warned him more than once to leave the staff and customers alone. But my brother always stood up for him. Honestly, kind of glad he's gone. Wouldn't shut up about the new face he was going to get at the mega surgery center. Vain till the end. Anyway, did you want a room? Gonna pass. Fine, but no sleeping on the couch. Look at you. You're still a human being under all that armor? Everyone just buys liquor, but we have plenty of other drinks. Let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugan. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? How would something like that even work? It makes sense, I promise. I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a dive for months. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as well. 100 cops. I thought Travis was your friend. Isn't he worth more than that? Do not think I miss your attempt to manipulate me. Fine. 200 cops. All right. I'm in. Ah! I know I could count on you. 
I have everything ready by six o'clock. Robin should be here by then. You show up, and it will go well. Promise. Hey, Vidi. Ah, yes, you. Famous Bob of Liquor, on tap all day. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. I got a bar to run. Let me know if you want something. Gonna pass. That's too bad. That's not even worth picking up, boss. Yeah? 